Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the previous uh, three lessons, we have discussed about the income effect, income consumption curve, and then we discussed about income consumption curve for inferior goods, uh, normal goods, and then within normal goods, we discussed about income consumption curve for the uh, luxuries and for necessities. And then we said that income consumption curve can take various slopes depending upon जो भी हमें budget line and जो भी हमें indifference curve map दिया होता है. So income consumption curve में हम x axis पे good x लेते हैं और uh, y axis पे good y लेते हैं. And we said that it income consumption curve shows us various combinations of uh, good x and good y at different income levels. तो वो हमें इनकम कंजम्पशन कर्व बताता है कि जब हमारी इनकम कोई भी पर्टिकुलर अमाउंट की चल रही है तो हम कितना गुड एक्स कंज्यूम करते हैं और कितना गुड वाई कंज्यूम करते हैं एंजल कर्व एक डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप बताता है इनकम में और उस पर्टिकुलर गुड के अंदर सो so, एक एक्सिस पे आप इनकम लेते हैं एंड दूसरे एक्सिस पे गुड एक्स गुड वाई लेते हैं चाहे वो नॉर्मल गुड है चाहे वो इंटीरियर गुड है चाहे वो लग्जरी है या नेसेसिटी है तो उससे हमें एक डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप पता चलता है कि इनकम चेंज होगा तो इस गुड के ऊपर क्या असर होगा so we say that uh, income consumption curve and angel curve dono ek sath kyu likha hai kyunki angel curve hum income consumption curve se derive karte hain so we say that the curve showing the relationship between the levels of income and quantity demanded of particular commodities is also called angel curve and it is derived is called angel curve and it is derived from the income consumption curve we say that whenever there is change in the pattern of consumption expenditure that is decrease in proportion of income spent on necessities and increase in the proportion of income spent on luxuries with the rise in income it is called angel curve theek hai a direct relationship income increase hoti hai to luxuries ki demand increase hoti hai income increase hoti hai to necessities ki demand ek level ke baad utna proportion mein increase nahi hota hai income increase hoti hai to inferior ki demand reduce ho jati hai to ye hame ek direct relationship angel curve se pata chalta hai so the angel curve depicts the relationship between the income directly and quantity demanded of that good whereas when we see all these uh, this relationship we keep other factors like the price of that good preferences and any other factor apart from income to be constant so this was angel curve now let us discuss this angel curve for these various commodities like we derived um, income consumption curve so in order to derive that first case that we will take is for necessities so let us take case 1 that is we are deriving angel curve for necessities okay so like i said that we will derive angel curve from income consumption curve which means that this will be a two part of horizontal diagram so एक हमने ये लिया एंड दिस इज आर सेकेंड ग्राफ सो इन दर्स्ट ग्राफ वी टेक गुड एक्स एंड गुड वाई एंड ऑन दिस सेकेंड ग्राफ दैट इज दिस राइट एंड साइड वी टेक गुड एक्स ऑन दी एक्स एक्सिस एंड वी टेक इनकम ऑन दी वाई एक्सिस नाउ सपोज दैट दिस इज आर इनिशियल बजट लाइन विच वी रिप्रेजेंट बाय बी एल and this is the new budget line which we represent by b1 l1 that is when our income increases and say so this is when income increases further we reach a higher budget line say b2 l2 ab suppose hamara jo first equilibrium hai wo is point pe aata hai say this is q1 जो सेकेंड इक्विलिब्रियम है यहाँ पे आप इंडिफरेंस कर्व चाहो तो ड्रॉ कर सकते हो और कर सकते हो अगर इनकम इंक्रीज होती है वी रीच एट अ हायर लेवल से क्यू टू एंड देन अनदर हायर लेवल से वी रीच एट क्यू थ्री ओके एंड दिस वी आर ड्रॉइंग फॉर नेसेसिटीज सो व्हाट विल हैपन एज यू कैन सी कि हमारा इंक्रीज तो हो रहा है बट द प्रपोर्शन ऑफ इंक्रीज इन देसिटीज keeps on reducing so we say that when the, when we plot this suppose initially hamara income 300 tha aur is 300 pe hum 
हंड्रेड यूनिट कंज्यूम कर रहे थे या हमने क्यू वन लिया है सो क्यू वन इज से हंड्रेड यूनिट हम कंज्यूम कर रहे थे फिर हमारा इनकम और इंक्रीज हो गया सो से आर इनकम इंक्रीजेस टू फोर हंड्रेड सो नाउ वी कंज्यूम सपोज सेवेंटी फाइव यूनिट मोर सो दिस विल बी वन सेवेंटी फाइव दैट इज दिस इज क्यू वन दिस इज क्यू टू जो हमने फर्स्ट डायग्राम से लिया है एंड सपोज आर इनकम इंक्रीजेस फर्दर टू फाइव हंड्रेड एंड नाउ and now we say that our consumption of x commodity increases but it increases by only say 50 units so when it increases by 50 units it's be it becomes 2 to 5 so with this when we plot such combinations we get angel curve ki jab hamari income change ho rahi hai to kaise kaise hamara good x change karta hai wo hame angel curve batata hai ये एंजल कर्व हमने इस आईसीसी से इनकम कंजम्पन कर्व से डिराइव किया है ओके सो दिस इज बीन डिराइव फ्रॉम दिस एंजल कर्व नाउ वी कैन से दैट एंजल कर्व फॉर नॉर्मल गुड्स एस वी कैन सी हमने ये नॉर्मल गुड्स के लिए बनाया है सो दिस इज अपवर्ड स्लोप ओके हमें क्लियरली दिख ही रहा है दैट दिस इज अपवर्ड स्लोपिंग which actually means that when income increases the demand for normal goods also increases okay so we can see that the slope of angel curve is increasing because when income is increasing the quantity purchased increases but this quantity purchased increases by a decreasing rate matlab pehle ye 75 se increase hua fir ye 50 se increase hua so we say that the quantity purchased increases but increases at a decreasing rate thus we can say that angel curve for necessities have increasing slope depicting that as income increases equally the expansion in quantity purchased of the good successively declines so whatever this we have discussed this is i have also written this properly let's go to to that so this is the diagram i'm going to upload this for you you can find it in the description so we say that angel curve for normal goods is upward sloping which shows that as income increases consumer buys more of a commodity and the slope of angel curve is increasing because as the income increases the quantity purchased increases but at a decreasing rate that is this increase from q1 to q2 is greater than increase from q2 to q3 and thus we say that thus angel curve for necessities have increasing slope which depicts that as the income increases equally expansion in quantity purchased of the good successively declines which means hamari income to 100 100 se hi increase hui hai it increases equally but ye jo increase hai ye increase hamara successive increase in income pe decline hota rehta hai so this was the angel curve for necessities in the next lesson we will discuss the angel curve for luxuries and we will also discuss angel curves for inferior goods and neutral goods so stay tuned everyone and i'll upload these notes you can find it in the description there will also be a telegram link you can join that telegram and uh, telegram channel also i'm going to upload one google form to just know you a bit more regarding what topics you want what subjects you want what more i can do to help you guys so please just take one minute and fill that form it won't be too much of your time all the best for your preparation in case of any doubt please post it in the comments take care everyone